Sony MDR 506s, are they worth it? And what comes in that box with them? Well, stick around and find out. Hi, I'm Dave of Tech Experts, and I help entrepreneurs to close the gaps that exist across the tools needed for your online business. Today, we're going to do an unboxing and a review of these, my new Sony MDR 506 headphones. So before we get too far into this, I just want to tell you, this is what we're talking about. They are considered professional grade, studio grade, neutral sounding flat headphones that are comfortable, big over the ear, and they are considered a closed back headphone. We're going to look at what comes in the box. We're going to look at how I think the build quality is, the sound quality is, the performance of these are, and what I think about the price point for performance ratio on these. Let's jump into it and get to that. Now, before we do that unboxing I'm talking about, I want to first invite you to my channel. I am Dave of Tech Experts. Now, make sure you're hitting that big subscribe button down there for me. And once you get done doing that, give me the big thumbs up. Hit that thumbs up because it helps the YouTube algorithm know to share this with more viewers out there. Now that you've hit the thumbs up, make sure you're also hitting that bell there. That's the notification bell that lets you know every time I go live or every time I release a new video. Let's get into the unboxing and see what's included in this box. All right, so that's what we got. We got the headphones, we got our adapter, we got our little bag, we got an awkward box, we got some instructions. Let's actually talk about these. How do they actually sound to me? Well, I think they sound great. They are neutral sounding headphones. What do I mean by that? Well, a neutral sounding headphone means it's not amplifying the bass and it's not amplifying the high end, basically the treble area. And you may be like, but I like that. I get that you may like a bass heavy sound for your listening experience. And maybe you like the high end being there a little bit more as well. And I get that too. I love those things. I love a nice rich bass. I love the kick and bass for me that I can really feel at times. And I love having that really sharp, clean high end where I can hear a little cymbals and funness there. But if you are a content creator or a podcaster or someone creating music or doing voiceovers, that's not really the perfect headphone for you for that style. That's more for when you want to enjoy it, enjoy a game or listen to your music. But if you want to create something, you need to have a headphone, in my opinion, that is neutral. That means you're not over amplifying that bass or that high end so that when you then go back to adjust your recording or you're adjusting your recording while doing it, that you're not getting a false sense of like it is richer in the bass. So I'm going to pull some of that bass down on the recording or the highs are too high. I'm going to adjust that down on the person that I'm listening to especially if you're doing like a podcast or an interview or anything else where you have other people in besides yourself or you're recording your own sound and you're trying to get the right sound for your music and that sound you're trying to create a whole entire sound and feel you want it to be neutral the neutral is important because that's the true sound that you're creating you're not falsely lifting or lowering any particular area because you think it's what it should be and it's really not that. And then when you get done with your recording, you can go into your recording app or tool and adjust as you want to. And if you have a neutral headphone, when you're adjusting, you'll get a true accurate sound of what you're adjusting, what it's gonna sound like when it comes out. That's why it's important to have a neutral headphone 
and a quality neutral headphones. And these, I think, are great for that. They, like I said, are not as bass heavy and not as bright as some other ones, but I think they do a great job in the fact that they are neutral. That's what I think about the sound quality. So it has a good sound space and it's a closed back headphone, meaning it's not gonna sound maybe as big a sound stage as you would with an open back, but it also means it's not gonna bleed out into the space that you're recording in or that you have other people listening to you around it. So that's important. Like I said, if you're doing the recording and you're recording something like a podcast, you wanna be able to hear the other people talking and not have that same sound come back into your microphone and feedback into your recording and car create some sort of like a feedback or a loop or delay or uh, echoey sound or something like that. And this is what makes it key that you have a closed back headphone for that scenario. And that's what these are. Basically means the side here doesn't have any vents in it to let any sound out. So it keeps everything trapped in here. They are not noise cancellation, but they do seem like they block out a lot of the outside noise when I put them on. And I really like that about it. They are comfortable. That's what we're going to talk about. How do I think they actually hold up and wear and feel and the build quality? So they're comfortable. They don't compress my head in real hard, which is good because they feel like they would fit even on a big person's head and not create too much pressure pressing in. So that's good. They didn't feel like they got too hot on my head. And I liked the fact that they have these cushy pads. They could be cushier and bigger. I understand that. And I like the fact that it's got the cushy top on here. Yep, it's not perfect, but it is comfortable. The fact that you can adjust this so that the top doesn't have to press down on you and crush your skull either is great too. And you can adjust each side independently and you can even note on the sides what number it has. So it has a lot of room to go between like one and like 11 on here or 12 that you can get to. So there's a lot of slots. Each one has its own little nice clicky feel. So you can even dial them in to be matching or if you know it's like one side or the other feels a little bit better if it's higher or lower, you can do that with these. Now the ear pads, like I said, are cushy and they can be replaced. And people do make custom replacements or you can get replacements right from Sony and they still make them even though they've been making these headphones for years. And now they have a cool design for traveling with these. You put the earphones together like this and you push up and it folds down like that. And then you can put it in a little bag and carry it with you. Now on the other end, we have the gold connector really nice just two bars so it means it's only going to be stereo there's no audio for like a mic with this one but know that ahead of time and the fact that it screws on to have that quarter inch adapter is huge that means you can plug in that one right into something like a mixing board or if you have an old school stereo like i grew up with we had that big headphone jack plug in on there as well the fact the cable basically twists on so that the connector stays on and then when you go to pull it in and out the connector doesn't yank out and leave that piece in there it comes out together and you don't lose it or leave it behind i like that about it the cord is comfortable you get a really nice long pull on this cord as you look at the the springiness of it right i can get about five feet but i have a plenty of room for it to feel comfortable even through the straight part here so I have plenty of room for it to hang down before I need to be stretchy. And I feel like I have enough cord to plug it into my PC, move around even though my PC is down out of the way, and still not feel like I'm yanking myself out of the cord and it's not too uncomfortable. The springy part of the cord feels good. It doesn't feel like it springs more than it needs to and it doesn't feel like it gets all twisted up and caught up. And I like that about it. I feel like they have a durable quality build. They're not the super most industrial ones, but the quality build is great. I know people that have had them for a long time, use them in the studios, travel around, and they just toss them in the bag, don't even think about them, and they say they wear and tear great. The sound quality just seems like it gets smoother the longer I listen to them, so the initial burn in or uh, wear seems to go pretty quickly and try a variety of music in that and it'll make it more comfortable but it seems like it gives me an equal not too loud of sound in my ear but it's loud enough to be clear but not too loud that it feels like it's sharp or harsh okay 
So let's talk then about the big thing. How do they compare for the price point? And are they worth it at the price they're at? So yes, you can get higher end headphones that are more expensive and do more. And you can definitely get, well, somewhat cheaper headphones. So do they compare, like if I'm comparing them against my earbuds or something like that, and I've had cheap wired and wireless earbuds, and they definitely sound much better. It feels like I have a bigger sound stage. That's the amount of space you have. Our higher end ones, yes, they're going to be cleaner, better, and have a bigger sound stage. Basically, meaning you feel like you're in a bigger space. But the price point is going to make the difference in how they perform for that price. So the price of these are about $90 normally before they go on sale. On sale, I saw them on Amazon Prime for $78, I think. So that's amazing. They used to be like 110. Now they're below $100 to start with all the time. And the fact that you can get them less than $90 is incredible for the quality of these headphones. Like I said, they're going to be a neutral sounding headphone. So for me, the price point for a neutral sounding headphone is less than $100. They're comfortable, easy to wear. I didn't feel like they overheated my head. Didn't feel like they crushed me and felt like they felt good and traveled with me well. I think it is well worth that price. I would say grab a pair of these if you want something to start with. Yep, you can invest in more higher end, fancier ones, but I would always have a pair of these around so you can make sure you understand what your neutral sound is that's comfortable to wear all day, especially like in a studio or a podcast recording scenario where you're gonna be recording for a half an hour, an hour or more. You want something that's being comfortable and neutral so you can get that clean sound and know what it sounds like. And then if you want to upgrade it to something more fun for the rocking music and kicking all your sound, you can totally do that. I understand that. But for the professionals out there, for all the content creators, I think these are a great price point for the entry level of the quality you're getting. You're getting more quality than what you're paying for for the price. So are they worth getting? Definitely, yes. I was really excited to get some in, and I was more excited when I got to use them and just get that nice feel and cleanness of the sound and be able to block out everything going around me and really just be able to dial in, do my work, and it sounded great in everything I applied to them. Whether it was doing voiceovers, whether it was doing video recordings, podcasts, or just listening to music on them, they sounded and performed great for me. I love the fact that my price point is less than $100. And if you can get it less than $80, I think that's a tremendous steal. Now, I hope you found this video helpful. If so, please give me the big thumbs up, like it, share it with your friends and family. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for me. I always ask you to subscribe because I want to keep you in the know. I have more how do I guides, more tech tips, more reviews, and more things I want you to be in the know about, like why you need to use quality gear that sounds good for you to make a great sound. If you haven't done so yet, please check out my links with the show's description down below. I will link to these headphones. They will be an affiliate link, so make sure you check that out. I also have links to other videos I've done with comparisons and reviews down below as well. Okay, I want to know what are you using for your headphone or headset or earbuds for your creation? Let me know in the comment section down below. Again, I'm Dave of Tech Experts, and I look forward to working with you.